Hello, today I'm going to be talking about some of the pieces on page 29. Uh, as you can see, I finally have an actual cello to demonstrate on. Uh, I realized getting to this page that there's a lot more shifting involved, and I really needed to demonstrate on a cello and not on my viola. So we're going to start off with number 3.27. This one is the theme from symphony number 8. If you didn't get a chance, I highly recommend listening to the little snippet of the piece I posted on the Google Classroom, um, and the whole piece itself is really beautiful. So I'm going to play through this first, so you hear how it goes, and then I'll talk about a few things to think about while you practice this piece. This is number 3.27, theme from symphony number 8. <laughs> So as you can see, it's a really beautiful little melody. Uh, it gets stuck in your head very easily, as I've learned over the years. Uh, so starting out, this piece, the whole thing is in the key of F major. So we're going to have F naturals throughout. So starting in that first note, just make sure you're on the second finger, F natural on the D string. And even in the first measure, we have this tricky string crossing going from F to low C on the G string and back again. So you want to make sure that your second finger is down, but your fourth finger is sort of hovering above the string ready for the next note, so keeping your whole hand set so that way this crossing doesn't take too much effort. So that's all back in first position. Anytime you have that F to C thing happening, you'll want to just make sure that your fourth finger is ready to go over to the C. Looking ahead to measure six, where we start to get into some of the shifting in this piece. So I'm going to play measure five, six, and seven again in slow motion this time so you can see how I'm shifting from first position to second position back to first position. So this is measure five. <laughs> shift up to second position on the F sharp. So I go to the last note in measure five, F natural, and then I go up with my first finger, first finger to F sharp, second finger to G, and then a fourth finger, whole step up on A. And that A should match your open A. So I'll show that again. This is measure five, last note, F natural. First finger, F sharp. Your whole hand is going to travel, so making sure that the directions are all backwards. Your thumb is traveling with your finger, so your thumb always stays across from your middle finger. Going from F natural, F sharp, G. That's how we get up to second position. Going back down is a little bit easier because we have an open string that allows us to move without having to worry about shifting between two fingers. So we finish up second position in measure seven. We go F sharp, G, and then open D gives you a chance to shift. So your hand is going to move as you're playing the open D. So here's the second position A. Open B, shift your hand back to first, and we're back in first position, home, th home three. Uh, the other thing to watch in measure seven is that both of those Fs are F sharp in this. Same thing in measure eight. Uh, is also F sharp, but then the last note is going to be F natural. So I'll play it through for you one more time, kind of exaggerating my shifts. 
do. Mm -hmm. in general as you're practicing it, I would isolate the middle measures, measure six, measure seven, where you have the shifts and really make sure that you can hear the difference between the F sharp, G, and A, and as you keep going, just feeling more comfortable shifting. So that is 3.27. Happy practicing. <laughs>